name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. In today's video I thought I would do a three month Jakarta video with you. In the beginning I'm going to have lots of clips that show you maybe some of these things that like snuck back in but are sneaking back out that are just photos with like wording over it whereas the next half of the video I'm going to talk more in depth about the things that I'm decluttering behind me and why they're going. Maybe this is interesting to some of you, maybe this is not interesting to the rest of you. And I am an extreme minimalist, but you're about to see me go even more extreme by some of these things I'm getting rid of. There's only one or two that I'm going to be replacing, and the rest are all going, and I'm not replacing them, or at least I don't plan to replace them with anything. Um, so let's get started. So in this section of the video, nothing is going, uh, that car is still with us, that photo of me and my son is still with us, obviously the sofa and the blanket are still with us, it's this side that I want you to focus on because this is all the stuff that we're getting rid of today. I think I'm going to start with the biggest stuff first and then make my way down. I have my acupuncture mat and then I have the bag that it comes with. I'm going to be giving this to my sister because I've decided that I don't want it anymore. I have had this mat now for about four years and over the years I've slowly dwindled my use in it. It's not because I don't think that it's fun to use or that it's relaxing or that it's not a brilliant tool for self-harm, which is originally why I bought it. It's just that because of having my kiddo, I just don't use it. It's just something that just goes away from me and now when I think about like trying to solve all the aches and pains in my body, I'd rather get on the mat and do yoga, not acupuncture mat. This is still an incredible resource for self-harming, and if I ever went down that road again, I hope not, but if I ever did, then this acupuncture mat is amazing because of all the sharps that are here. It's enough to make you feel something, it's enough to leave an imprint, but it's not enough to actually physically really hurt you or draw blood. So, as weird as that is and as gross as that might seem for the first thing I'm getting rid of, 
that is that and actually just by me getting rid of it it shows you just how far I've come in my journey as well because even if I did get the odd thought about self-harming I never act on it and I never have to use this because it doesn't get that bad so this is actually a really proud moment for me and for my ability to declutter it the next thing that I wasn't sure I was going to be getting rid of for a very long time but I finally made this decision is my scarf don't get me wrong I love the idea of owning this and I do feel like it does come in handy in so many different ways except I've never used it since I bought it and when I did wear a scarf before owning this one it was a bit bigger and black and white but it was so like comfy which is nice but it was just like another layer on my skin and I already wear so many layers on my skin in the winter that I just I don't want to be wearing this so it kind of pains me in a way that I'm getting rid of it but I know me, I know my clothing preference, and I know, hopefully, maybe not, but the weather here in the UK, and I just, I don't need it. Even though I really want to want it, and I really want to use it, I just don't need it. So I'm letting this go. This is a pair of toddler shorts for my uh, little one. It's quite interesting because the size of these shorts are six to nine months. Obviously, he doesn't fit into the six to nine month clothes, and I think this was a sizing error on Primark's part. But I've had these obviously since he was in six to nine months clothes and I've never worn them. He's never worn them. And they've got a blue stain on by accident and they're white. And if you have toddlers, white trousers, white shorts was really not a good idea. And also I don't put him in jeans because I know myself that wearing jeans is really uncomfortable and I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable because his job is to play and have fun and get dirty my job is to make that happen and so I don't like to restrict his clothing so there's that but they also still don't fit him which is bonkers because he's in three sizes up so I don't know what to say about that but we don't need them I mentioned in my last video that I had some paperwork that I didn't want to keep around and this is this paperwork I did some decluttering and that's what inspired that paperwork video and so two or three of these need to be photocopied still and then I can get rid of the rest also I get given stuff all the time this I got given last week as a good luck card from my family worker because we we're saying goodbye to each other and I just think it's so cute and I love it will I take a photo of it? no I will read it one more time before I let it go and then that'll be it because I don't keep stuff like this around I have a lot more stickers than this um, that are in the declutter pile but I thought I would just grab a few just to show you that I have some I'm getting rid of them because I don't need stickers in my bullet journal because I like to keep it really simple and the stickers are doing my head in and all of the paper clutter that comes with stickers are doing my head in and the pressure to use them and to get it right was really annoying me and I just really wanted to keep my bullet journal simple so I'm going to do away with the stickers. You'll see my hair dry in another clip in this video because I didn't edit it out. I've gone back and forth so many times about this hair dryer and I think even in a couple of videos ago I said or showed you that I didn't own a hair dryer and that's because it was in the declutter pile at the time and then I dragged it back out and then I put it back in and then I dragged it back out. This one, my sister is going to take this hair dryer because it better suits her studio apartment and then her hair dryer is going to my dad's so technically I'll still have access to a hair dryer it's just that it's not going to be in my house and I'm not going to have access to it all the time so this is going which is nice because this will cut down my electricity bill a little bit and also try and make my hair more natural a bit more and just one last thing in my already tiny bathroom Maybe I'm mad, but for some reason all the big toys make me feel really sentimental. And don't get me wrong, Harry still loves taking my hoover, but that's the thing. He likes taking my hoover. He doesn't like using his hoover anymore. I don't know if that's a season thing, or he's just outgrown it, or he's just... I don't know, but for some reason he doesn't gravitate towards his hoover even when I give it to him, and so we're going to let it go. This is a big bulky toy. I mean, smaller than some of the other toys we've got, but 
still bulky nonetheless. So it'd be nice to save some room and it'd be nice to have one less loud musical toy, but I'm still gonna miss it. To the point where I actually might take a photo and like screenshot this because I will really miss it. Even though I know it's gonna be available in shops for a very long time to come. Next, we have a bed sheet. There's nothing wrong with it except that it's stained and this is one of the few things I will be replacing down the road. But right now, I can have a couple of months where I don't need this bed sheet. So, <sighs> it's going in the trash because it's just too stained. We have this ball, as you can see clearly it's been popped recently. We only had it a couple of months, but it's already been popped as these things tend to pop. And so this is going in the bin as well. We have a wooden piece of train track. I don't know how this has ended up breaking or if it was already broken when we got it, but this is also going in the bin. The same with this toy, it came with the train track. We got it second hand, so I'm not surprised there are a few things that are a bit broken, but this is also going in the bin because this bit's broken and this bit's missing, which is quite important for this toy. A little bit random, a shoelace, I think. I don't know where this has come from. We don't need it, so I'm putting it in the bin, but it's, a declutter item because I kept it around for ages thinking I needed it rather than just it not being camera and just throwing it in the rubbish if that makes sense here we have some dried up or at least not in use don't need paint pots that's because we did a craft last night uh, that we got yesterday giving us in a like, little goodie bag and we threw most of the goodie bag stuff away because we don't need it, but we kept the little thing to do a little bit of painting. And it was a really weird, horrible craft, didn't like it at all. And he was really that interested, so we're giving away these paints. We do have paints for when we need them, but we're not keeping all these little ones. I have this, this was from the craft we just spoken about. I don't know where the other one is, or if my sister's taken it. But we're also decluttering these by putting them in the rubbish too. We have a poppet. Now, if this was his only poppet, we would not be getting rid of it. But we were given three for one pound when we went to a event. And it was only supposed to be one poppet that we got, but the lady was like, ah, oh, it's fine. Take more, take more, just shh. So we did. Which was foolish because I, I knew we didn't need all of them. Um, lesson learned, I suppose. For long-term followers of this channel, you may think the one I'm about to get rid of is crazy because I always raved about these ear tools. I just realised that I could use something else that already had a different purpose that I already was also using every day and I didn't need these ear tools anymore and actually they're probably getting pretty gross and keeping them around, keeping them clean, keeping them neatly stored, not losing them, dealing with them even though they're so small was just such a hassle and I didn't want to deal with it anymore so we're getting rid of these. These things I keep going backwards and forwards with, I want to keep them because I mean I tie my hair up, they will be useful but I don't like the colour and when I bought them I knew that I didn't like the colour. Rushed into buying them because I had or needed the, the black pair that came with them and I thought oh it's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll use them even though they don't really make me happy. And that is another lesson that I need to learn to not buy things half-heartedly because I keep ending up decluttering them. That being said, I'm going to declutter them because I offered them to my sister who has the same hair colour and she also doesn't want them. So they're going. This actually came with a different bouncy ball but it's also going because I've kept the other one. Even though I could, oh, it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm decluttering this. Why do I do this to myself? Like this was in the 2P machine and they also had a bluey version. Why don't I just stick with the bluey version? Maybe spend more money and maybe not get it, but at least if I did get it, I'd keep it because we absolutely love bluey, rather than going for what was easy and cheaper and just end up decluttering it anyway. Lesson learned, don't play on 2p machines unless you don't care about getting prizes or unless there's a prize, even if it comes with a higher stake, that you really want. Don't just accept all this free shit. And if there are little children around when you do get this stuff that you don't actually really want and like you know in your heart that you don't want, just give it to the little kids that are around and don't take it home and then having to deal with this clutter a couple of weeks later. I have a flannel and that's because we're not using it 
and I got it because I thought I needed it and I don't. I'm absolutely fine just using my hands for myself and for him so we're getting rid of it. And it's also got stains on it and I don't trust myself to use it because I don't trust the bleach or whatever it was I used on it is out so that's going. The next thing I have is medicine that hasn't been touched. I tried really hard, not really that hard, but I tried to get my son into it and although he enjoyed the first bottle I can't get him to have the second bottle and with supplements you have to be consistent with them otherwise it doesn't work. I tried to put this in porridge, he didn't like it. I tried to just give it to him by itself, he didn't like it. I tried to put it in yoghurt, he didn't like it. So this is going. I would have it but I also don't like it so I'm not gonna have it. This is a cleaner I think for the windows or like for small gaps. I really wanted to like it and I found this recommendation on Amazon and on Instagram when I had Instagram I really tried to like it. I really wanted to like it. I really wanted it to become like a staple part of my cleaning and it didn't happen. So in the bin it goes. This I was going to get rid of but I just realised that I'm down to six hair bands so I actually do need to keep it. Why am I keeping these? Good question. I'm decluttering them. I don't need them. I do have one spare that I've left behind just in case someone else, like comes over with a straw, but I don't need three that we barely use. So off they go into the bin because I'm wasting it again because I'm not actually going with my heart with purchases. I'm just going with my head or with my trends or what I think I need and I'm not learning from my past mistakes that I just don't like using straws. I don't like owning straws. I don't like cleaning straws, so I should just not have straws. And also, Harry's out of that phase where he needs straws, because the only straw he's got is not going to be around with us for much longer, like maybe a year. The one straw cleaner we have is absolutely fine, because all we use um, in that bottle with the straw is water, so we don't need it. A train from the same train track set that is supposed to be battery operated. It has batteries in and it's all working. So, I'm not keeping it. And it also doesn't stick together properly. So I'm not gonna faff with that. And I'm just gonna get rid of it because we have other trains that will do the job just fine. Kids Scrabble. I originally got it for my oldest for when he comes over my house. The reality is he comes over maybe once a year. And if he had a game to play, he wouldn't touch this game because I asked him. And I just held on to it thinking he might use it and the reality is he's not going to use it. Could I save this for my youngest? Yeah. Am I going to wait four years? No. No I'm not. So off it goes. The container it's in. Fun huh? Is a Lazy Susan. Do I need it? Yes and no. Would I like to keep it? Yes and no. Is it staying in my house? No. Why? Because I don't like storage containers in the kitchen. I've realised. I've realised that I'm over that aesthetic. I'm over that extra step in my life. I'm over that extra clutter. And this will just have to go to someone else. Um, we don't keep a lot of food in this house, so we don't need it. It's as simple as that. The next thing are these two containers. This I use every single day, like the, the container type, but we don't have a lid for this guy, so I'm decluttering this. This is a recent container that my sister gave me because she didn't need it anymore. And I thought, ah, oh, I use this for like my pins and extra razor heads and stuff, but I don't need it. I'm just making excuses to keep it because it's cute. So this is going as well. Remember when I said that I like love this thing? Don't get me wrong, I still love this thing. But I lost the other one, I can't find it anywhere. And I've not used it in a really long time. I've used it maybe twice in six months. It's really annoying keeping these tiny things in the tiny bathroom when I'm not using them. And as much as I love the idea of them, I love how they feel, I'm just not keeping up with them because I have a toddler and he needs me. So, they're going, which makes me sad, but it's the right thing to do. Don't get me wrong again, I think this is really pretty and I love having it and I think it's really useful to a lot of people, but I don't want the the bulk of this, 
storage item. I don't want to deal with it when I move. I don't want to deal with it when I'm moving around in the kitchen. I don't want to clean it. I don't want to look after it. I don't want it to be, I don't want to be dealing with it. That has its uses, it has its practicality, but I don't keep enough tin food around to need it because I don't really like tin food. I love these things. They're magnetic, they stick to the fridge and they're very roomy, like storage wise, they're amazing. I didn't actually need them in the first place. I just brought them because I thought that's what I needed. And again, I was persuaded by Amazon and by Instagram that I had at the time. And I thought they were gonna make things really organized and neat and tidy. And the reality is I didn't need them in the first place. So why did I buy them? Because when I got them, I tried to fill them. I just didn't need to do that. So as much as they are great, and they're so my aesthetic, they're going. And then last but not least is the item that I've had probably the longest out of everything that you've seen here. And when I bought them, I really thought they were gonna fix my kitchen dilemmas and they were gonna make my small kitchen look amazing and they were gonna be so satisfying to see and to fill and to clean, make me somehow better than people that didn't have these containers. What I should have realised was that that was just marketing doing its thing and I really didn't need them in the first place. Except for porridge oats, because that is a mess. I'm decluttering these six containers because I don't need them in my life. Because I've downsized on the amount of food that I keep in my house. A little bit, I've gone from once a month shopping down to a week, but I've also come to realise that decanting and cleaning and managing and checking and looking at and storing and then maybe moving these items are not something that I want to be doing in my life now or in the future forevermore. There are some things that I've got rid of today and in the past because I don't want them for the season of life that I'm in right now and that's fine but I don't want these in my life ever. And to the point where if you ever see me bring in any storage containers for the kitchen, like feel free to call me out on it and tell me to like take them back because I'm serious. I will forget over time that these are so annoying and just not important to my life, but that's the truth. That's the reality. These kitchen items, these kitchen storage things are not what I need in my life, what I need is simplicity and peace. I don't need all of this extra work and pressure that I'm putting on myself. It's okay if my kitchen is messy, as long as I can access things that I need to access and as long as things are put away in a way that's not going to attract vermin. And as long as the things that are in my kitchen are in date, <laughs> that's all that matters. How it looks is, is not important and that's what I've realised really recently about my kitchen. It's that half of the things I owned in my kitchen, I owned because of aesthetics and I owned because I thought I had to have this complete look or this complete set of something and that's just not important. What's important is that I use my kitchen as a clean, calm space to make food, to clean up the dishes and to eat. That's all a kitchen needs to be and these containers were not really hindering that to the point of safety but they just weren't aiding me in a way that was making life a little bit uh, more stress-free because when it came to dealing with the shopping that I just brought and had to take up the stairs which is already a hassle in itself I then had to decant and tidy up the mess that decanting creates and clean these out and not know when the date was so either take the risk or just waste food which I don't want to do anymore so they're going and I'm very happy with that and that's what brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please know that even as an extreme minimalist, we do declutter. I hope it gave you an insight into my little head when I'm going through the decluttering process and I hope it's given you some ideas on what you want to declutter next for your home or your phone or your mind or your time. It's all good. All right. Bye.